Salman Soz, uh, how would you come in uh, on this debate? We've seen this government being willing to brazen it out. The fact that you've got Canada, the, uh, the United States, France, other than Russia, so many countries openly and repeatedly saying that, look, we have problems with what's happening in India, and this government deciding that that is not something that should concern us. So therefore, has India ridden out the international sort of attempt at stopping what's happening in Jammu and Kashmir? Well, you know, the international pressure will remain, and I think this whole idea that you can just ride it out, uh, I think it is short-sighted. But I think more important than international pressure, what we have to think about is what's happening in India itself. You know, uh, when, uh, when uh, August 5 happened, uh, you know, I'd written about how Kashmir is the beginning. We have to see what the ramifications are for the rest of the country. Now, imagine what is happening. You have uh, former chief ministers, former union ministers, including my father, uh, all of these people who were at one point or another representing people were uh, uh, working under the constitutional framework are detained. Now, if that can happen, and it's six months and now Omar and Mehbubarji, uh, they've been put under the Public Safety Act, what is to say that tomorrow opposition leaders in the country will not face the same fate? We have seen Mr. Chidamram the former Home Minister, the former Finance Minister of India, basically brazenly put behind bars for, to my, uh, uh, you know, to, in my estimation, a totally trumped up charge. Tomorrow, senior leaders from the opposition can be taken and people can be told, you know what, there is a danger of public disorder. We need to put them behind, you know, in you know, preventive detention. It can happen to anybody in India. The question is, how do people see that? Because this is a slippery slope. It, it's easy to kind of, for many people to say, oh, you know, it's Umar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti, these are Kashmiri people, a uh, small group of people on the side. But this is, in my view, a dangerous and a, a very slippery slope. I don't think the national interest is served by this. I think India is headed in a very dangerous uh, direction. And if and so I, I don't worry about the international pressure. Right. I think the pressure should come from the country itself. Okay. People should say, this is nonsense. We will not accept it. Because ultimately, when, when these things happen, it is people ultimately whose interest is sacrificed. Gita, would you like to respond to that? If we look at so many cases in the country where the, the most draconian laws are slapped, look at the sedition case against a nine-year-old, uh, uh, the, the, the mother of a nine-year-old child, for, for a play which apparently was just a few minutes long. It, it may have been anti-CA, but so what? Over here, you've seen three political leaders with no charges against them, right? Put behind bars indefinitely now for more than six months. You've seen the entire case with Mr. Chidambaram, where in our system, bail has been the norm. For whatever the reasons, he was not given bail for a very large period of time. What exactly is happening in our country? Are our rules just being thrown at people so that they suffer? You know, uh, well, uh, all uh, the three ex-chief ministers who have been detained at present, at when they were at the seat, when they were chief ministers themselves, when Mr. Omar Abdullah was a chief minister, more than 1,000 people, you know, they were booked under PSA. Yeah, they were when stone Mr. pelters yeah, and they, they were terrorists. They were, they were many of they them. They were stone pelters, they were, they were many, terrorists, the, they were arsonists. Was the case in, they were, similarly but, was but the case is in... is Omar Abdullah uh, or no, Farooq no, Abdullah a stone pelter is, or a terrorist no, or a gunman? No, it is or not. Somebody, no, but you right. see, the kind so this, of insinuation... The, the kind of people were very the different. The kind of insinuation... This is politically associated. You see, what kind of an argument is that? The local leadership has played, you know, in the very softly in the hand of the separatist. It has been seen for a long time. And in yet the, the BJP valley, chose to partner of, with the, the PDP. Of, the kind of statements that have been given but by, then how did you uh, by Mr. How did the Abdullah BJP and by with the PDP uh, till quite recently? that have been, you know, that we have seen. So, they, so there is you, that confidence in them, right, at present is not there, that they are not when once they come out they are not going to be a threat in while but mr hegde would you agree that that this okay, argument of gita is give me some time to speak i have not been able to complete i do not understand that why is it that they are not able to come to terms that 370 what has been removed and it has been what do you mean to come to terms good I mean, good right to have the have because you, you you do not they want right, that the people no, of you, kashmir right. should be served if people, people are with you why do you just the government officials for the first time are getting a salary if you tell us that things are normal why should they why should detention they were getting a pittance of a salary